what's up, first of all. And my name is Dan Spoon. Today I'm going to talk about a new product in Nepal, that's Noria Smart Air Conditioner. It's basically normal air conditioner, but it's small in size and portable, and you can change these places. Like it's a window air conditioner, especially. So, about Noria air conditioner, it's 40% smaller than the standard air conditioner. And it costs around 299 US dollars, which is around 30,000 Nepal rupees. And it's very, very easy to install. It creates less sound. It's small in size and portable. And its cooling capacity is around 5,000 British thermometer unit per hour. And power consumption is uh, around 460 to 480 watts. For an air, we estimate to be around 10.4. To 10.8, the unit would draw approximately 4 amps during operations. So it's very, it has very simple user interface, and it's very easy to use. I have a small video, but uh, I don't think it's going to work. As we all know, the temperature of our country has been increasing uh, comparatively against the previous years. Like uh, the recent temperature of Kathmandu was 36 degrees Celsius, so it's uh, getting hotter. So people will be probably looking for ACs or fans or alternative products, and this might be a good product for uh, for the market in Nepal. So the size of it is 5.8 inch, uh, the height of it, and the weight is 18.25 inch, and the diameter is 15 inch. So the it has the opening size size as well and width size is around 21 inch to 36 inch wide so window type will be around single or double hung window frames so it's very hard for Nepali windows to fit in but it can be managed so and this installation orientation is very easy and currently it's only horizontal the vertical they are planning to make it as vertical as well but it's only on horizontal now and the weight of it is just 30 pounds and it's up, it cools up to 160 square feet per room. One AC can cool up to 160 square feet. And so market research forecasted rise in demand. So as I told you, the temperature of our country has been increasing. So it can be a good demand in the market. So increasing temperature every year, as I told you again. And uh, air conditioners are mostly used in corporate buildings. Like in every corporate buildings, air conditioners are used. And if we can replace a portable one, it will be very cheaper. And it's very cheaper than the standard one. It's around, standard air conditioner is cost around 1 lakh to 20,000, 1 lakh 10,000 to 1 lakh 10,000, around that much. But uh, Noria air conditioner costs you around 30 to 40,000 only. So it's quite cheaper than the standard one. So slot analysis, the strength of this uh, air conditioner is, is easy to smartphones as well. You can use it through some smartphones like Android or iPhone. And it's easy to set up and control since it's very small and it can be portable. It's very easy to set up its control and easy to store. When it's not in use, you can store it very easily. And it's very eco-friendly. It doesn't use any external gas or any other stuff. So it's very eco-friendly. The weaknesses for this is power outage. First of all, in Nepal, as we all know, we can face something. We face lots of load settings sometimes. So this might be a, one of the weaknesses for this product. And not suitable for traditional Nepal windows. Like I said earlier, in Nepal windows, it's very, very small. Like typical Nepali windows it's, are very, very small. So it doesn't fit quite properly. So it, uh, there has to be some changes in the middle. Yeah. So it's, it's one of the weaknesses. And low production line. The, Noria is a company where they produce this air conditioner, but they are producing very low amount of it because they are still innovating in this product and they are trying, trying to create lots of new um, features in it. So they have very, very low production line and distance barrier. Like we, are, we have to import it from the United States, so it's very, very far away. And to import lots of parts and other stuff, it's very, very hard, and so it's one of the weaknesses. So, opportunity an innovative product in the new Nepali market is a big opportunity for this product. Huge market like 
and there are lots of people who have lots of gas and all they all need cool temperature and they all work in a corporate buildings and they all need a conditioner to cool them down so um, the market is used for it and technological growth in Nepal like using this uh, air conditioner will um, grow technological growth in Nepal as well so uh, scope of leading the product since uh, none of the air conditioner are available <coughs> no, none of the Noria is available in the country so it's a scope for leading the product the trades could be convincing consumers uh, by replacing the old ones like lots of corporate buildings have the old standard AC and it's hard to convince them to replace it with the new ones so alternative products like there are fans the normal ACs and other uh, alternative products and this could be a threat for the company and rise of the competitors like in the future in the near future there might come competitors where they can pro uh, produce similar products so uh, rise of the competitors might be a threat and taxations like Nepal government is uh, about to change the taxation system in Nepal and they are likely to change increase the value of tax on gas and electronics equipment so this could be a threat for the company and government requirement so these are the requirements for uh, these are the requirements of the government to import the Noria air conditioner certificate of origin uh, required customs declaration form which is known as CDF copy of export license if applicable like in uh, electronic stuffs we need a copy of export license and a copy of the letter of credit or advance payment statement from a bank we, uh, we have to pay through a bank so we have to, we have we need the statement of the letter and a foreign exchange declaration form a photocopy of the income tax registration certificate and an authorized an authorization letter from the government so the trade policy in nepal they used there are lots of tariff system in, in all, all around the world in nepal they use harmonized tariff system which is known as sts and import duty rates are uh, vary from 0 to 80 percent uh, machinery goods charge at 5 percent rate so uh, noria air conditioner is machinery goods so it uh, cost 5 percent rate cost duties exist on cost insurance and freight so due, uh, the tax includes cost insurance and freight values so imported, imported goods are also liable for value added tax uh, so we have to add 30% tax on the every product for the finance part um, for the financial uh, most of them there are lots of capitalist venture now in Nepal there are various capitalist venture one of them are CG Venture, MNSN, Next Venture Corp uh, they, are, they are very uh, potential financiers and they like to take risks on new innovative products where they can see where they see potential demand in the future or potential comeback in the future and family and friends as well have like initial investment from friends and families so this is small Noria versus old AC differences like it's smaller in size Noria and normal ACs are larger in size it's very very portable you can change its places uh, like if you place a conditioner over here, next day you can put it over in the next window or next room or anywhere you like. And it's, uh, the normal ACs are fixed in one place. So in normal AC there is sometimes leakage of water as well, if you can see. So no leakage of water in uh, Noria. And it's very very easy to install. Like it's a one man job to install the Noria. And it's very hard to install the old one. So thank you.